I, I, I don't know. Okay, you, you want to come yeah, in? Yeah, Arnav, okay. I just like to add that also we need to first deserve and then desire. Okay, so when we talk about our senior leaders, okay, I for one definitely feel that they have lot more knowledge, lot more experience. What do you? That's why they are what, there. Now, what you know, is it not, that you? What is it that you? It's not that easy you to don't be there. Desire, that you desire no, say, which you don't deserve. No, say like you gave an example yes. between Anurag is a friend of mine. Yes. You uh, compared him say to Mr. Arun Jaitley. Now, if we compare him to Arun Jaitley, Mr. Jaitley is lot more experienced, lot more knowledgeable. So, if he was gunning for his uh, his uh, position in the party. And say I'm not in BJP, you know, and I'm friends with Anurag more than uh, I'm friends with uh, Mr. Jaitley. Anurag is looking I would more. Still say Anurag is looking more and more worried. <laughs> <laughs> no, but more. we also have to give due credit to people who are seniors. They are there because they deserve to be there. Also, but eventually, come on, you know, that, that's so, sure, much, much, no, no, I, I, yeah. I must say, I must say, I completely disagree with this view. Okay. The reason is this: <clears throat> if you are in corporate life, and you are. You know, you have CEOs in your own companies. People, I don't know what it is like, but see, people are becoming CEOs by 35. But not in Indian companies. I, I, I run a very large Indian company. Then, Even there, I have to see. I have to sometimes see the age also. Sure, you Until do. Until someone is really, really brilliant, and you can't put a 35-year-old as CEO of the company, then all the people who are in 50s and who say we have been working for such a long time, they are loyal, they are smart, they are good, they will say, look, no, we are not going to work under this you guy. You look at all the and MNC companies which are there in India today, operating out of India. Yes. I am talking all the MNC companies in, which are operating in India, running Indian businesses. And I can tell you, more than 50% of them will have CEOs who are around the age of 40 or but, less. But not in Indian companies. No, but Again, why it's not? A matter of, why matter not? of culture. Wait, it's why? a matter of culture well, well, of the company. Company culture and culture in the country. But has the age of management declined in the last decade? Has it changed? I think it Certainly has Certainly it has. It has become younger. Then why is it not happening That's in That's a sign politics? for the future then. Why is it not happening in politics? We are all for it to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you are waiting for no, it see, to happen. It is, it is happening at the various levels. If you look at the Panchayat Pradhans and Jila Prashad members today, much younger. they're relatively much younger. If you look at the women empowerment, there are about 50% women who got a share in the power. I think things are changing over a period of time. I think in the coming times, maybe another five years, you'll see a lot of change, a lot of young faces in the Lok Sabha but and even in the Rajya Sabha the, as well. The guy who's coming at the district level yeah. or who's coming at the Panchayat level or you know, at your that at the state level, is saying that I don't want to operate at that level. You see, Anurag, my point to you. Let, let me draw a collocation to this. Don't take it otherwise. The fact is, they'll say that you know, Naveen, Jayant, collocation, Anurag, get to the top at a relatively young age because they have a family background. I'm just cutting the chase, and I have done some research here. Out of the 545 members of parliament in the 15th Lok Sabha, there are 156 who have a family background. Right? Now, there are only 47 who have come from student politics. There are only 16 who have been inducted. There are only 10 who have come from trade unions. 156 are coming from family backgrounds. Now, let me, let me take, take this up one by one. Jayant, I start with you. Not very charitable remarks. Your party, I am told, the RLD, five out of five MPs, 100%, have a family link. Well, uh, no, so because not you, five out of five. One of our uh, uh, female MPs, uh, Sarika, I'm not sure what political link she has. So four out of five. That some 80%. uncle, some cousin is in politics, that doesn't mean that 80%, the whole family is in. 80% high number. Uh, even some, yeah, okay. I, I agree, and I, I'm not. I'm not uh, disputing what you're saying. A large number of the young faces are belonging to some sort of political affiliation or background, which doesn't take anything from their own uh, their, their validity in being there. We've all no, fought elections to come here, and we have our own vision. We have our own ways and style of working. Yeah, but so but that doesn't mean that know, we should. You know, you know the point that I'm making. The yeah. point I'm making is, if you take somebody who is say of your age and yeah. your position yeah. today as Will a member of parliament. Him? then that person would perhaps be in a greater hurry to break the structures and go to the top. I agree with you. In fact, now, you know, yeah. he, he wouldn't be waiting yeah. for the next generation you know, to move on. You agree with me? We sense that impatience every time we go into the constituencies where the, we see people who want to see, get into the see, system, but they uh, don't know how. Yeah, you want to come in, Anurag? I think it's the people who elect their representatives. By the end of the day, whether they have performed, whether they have delivered, I think the statistics will show that majority of the young MPs, they have delivered 
better than the others no my question is different anurag no, no, my, my, my question my question is this that if you put take somebody and let me tell you your statistic your 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 party statistic do tell you know bjd that's 42.9.9% 6 out of 14 mps have a family link you you get my point which i'm saying i agree, saying I agree. you are absolutely yeah. correct yeah. and if you have a family link uh, it helps you in launching yeah. in politics doesn't mean you'll win your elections but let's you know to the coming to the brass tacks political parties give tickets to people who are the best possible candidates to win yeah. if yeah. they believe arnab goswami because he's a face on television will win a election they'll give him a ticket from delhi siddhu's got a ticket okay. azharuddin's got a ticket because they're know. well known you know actresses actors well known doctors No, then really not bureaucrats so. really it so. is because you doctors, are the no, no, how many doctors and celebrities and uh, are there it's 156 people with a family link that's no, an amazing large number of doctors engineers no, and celebrities yeah, and bureaucrats who come to politics uh, i don't know the uh, statistics for the parliament but i can tell you in the state like odisha we have 15 doctors no, with no no do no, no, you know why i'm asking this question hmm. is because the impatience which you refer to is impatience also among many of our viewers it's across the country that people are saying when on earth will we see people can, thought the 2000 and 2009 can, election is the come out election then they think 2014 people are genuinely becoming worried at the age of the top leadership in this country but it's the people see, who decide Naveen. sure i agree anup that's a fact of life the people who have a family background in politics they have a advantage they have an advantage because they already have people who support them who trust them they are already known to people so people from those families when they come Yeah. They, they they do have a huge uh, advantage but that advantage has come with a lot of hard work with lot many I years of but why years of service to the yeah, people but, but and tell, tell, us, tell our viewers today why four of you are not gunning you know to to move I'll, away from I'll, the margins right up to the top I'll, I'll, I'll how do you know we aren't I'll, 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 how do you know we aren't oh, that's a candid that's that's candid, that's candid now. but but yes. if but if, if you look at the recent example you know said by anna hazare It's not the young politicians who have changed. It's the youth of this nation who has come forward, That's along true. with Anna Hazare, stood by him firmly, strongly, and very peacefully. They have brought the change in the system. They have tried to raise the issue of Lokpal and fight against corruption. Yes. So I think youth has to play an important role in the nation building But process. They also needed. It can't be. It can't be only through the. Uh, Anurag. Uh, they also needed a 74 year old Anna to lead them. Of course, <laughs> yes. But but you have to become a role model for that. Sure. you have to become a role model if they can't find a role model in rahul gandhi they found a role model in oh. anna hazare <laughs> then of course yes we need to look at the, that side also that we have to become no, a role i think it's not so much about no he a, made a comment that he said he, he linked i tried to, 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 to ignore that okay? you're trying to ignore it <laughs> why, why are you playing safe no 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 i'm not playing i'm not playing safe or anything i'm just trying to say that people actually just age is just a number what people are looking for is new ideas so whether those new ideas which appeal to the young whether they come from 74 year old shri anna hazare or they come from a 40 year old or a 25 year old people looking for ideas not just age what about if you have younger people but yeah. with old ideas